left lane must turn and the it, it, traffic is photo enforced. Now I'm not real sure where we're going to come out. I think I know. I think it should be an easy... shift or transfer or whatever and get through little five or we'd like to go by um, that market and see if all those flowers are blooming right across from it yeah the Krog, Grog or Krog yeah Krog Street Market take you out to the federal pen to the left will turn into Monroe Drive when it crosses Ponds. sure I know where we are now. I can't think of the name of this road here. I didn't catch the street sign in time. But yeah, left to take us over to Ponce.
John Lewis Freedom Parkway. We wanted to go, okay, well, we'll go left, it'll take it. We'll go left and then we'll go right and go through Little Five. Okay. Okay, starting, yeah, we're turn here. Let those people get on across the walk. Now the Carter Presidential Library is right up the hill there on the right. There were a couple of those scooters laying around. I still hadn't quite figured that out. Do those things have GPS on them? And then they come get them and recharge them? How do they find all those things? How do they know? I've never, I have never quite figured that out yet. Okay, we're back on North Avenue here now. We'll turn right. I know what we'll do. We're going to stop up here at North Avenue. We're going to get out. We're going to take some pictures of these old um, telephone poles. A very interesting photo photography on these telephone poles. All of these old staples and everything that have rusted. Chewing gum. Whatever that is rattling over there needs to stop. Aggravating. Yeah, this will be Virginia Highland, and over to the left when you cross Ponce will be North Highland. Okay, we're going to turn right right here. We'll go down. See, my plans changed on it in an instant. We'll go down and cut through Little Five. That used to be a parking lot. Oh, well. <laughs> what used to be in Atlanta is not what it is anymore. We'll come up through Little Five, we'll find a place to park, and we'll get some pictures of these uh, telephone poles that are slap covered with old rusty staples and remnants of signs. Can you just sort of think about all of the stories, the for sales, the room for rents, the all the different all the different uh, storylines that have been posted on these wooden telephone poles. Lost animals, found animals. Thousands of different storylines. there to the right go down those old buildings there and you turn right and the uh, when the Sun hit it in the afternoon the old windows and everything there was really a neat wall down here painted too it's still painted but it was painted different I've got all those CDs I'm gonna start going through a lot of that stuff and see if I can't find some of this stuff and I'll try to do some before and afters what it was about 20 years ago 20 almost 25, well some of it might be 25 years ago, and what it is now, okay, y'all come on now, okay, we're turning left, and we're coming, we're going to go right up through the heart, a little five, right by Old Bass High School, Boy, 
He was hoofing it, wasn't he? this light or do we go right and then go left? Last time I did this the light turned but that light will hold forever. So if you come this way and do this you don't have to sit there at that light forever. Of course it changed. It liked it got me didn't it? There's Old Bass High School on the left. AMP, all that stuff is up there. I worked at this AMP in the winter of 74. The absolute brilliance of some people is amazing, isn't it? Zestos, across there on the right. Zestos no more. Okay, we're going to turn left right here. We're going to find us a parking place and we're going to get some pictures of uh, a couple of these wooden telephone poles, all the, all the storylines with all the staples. This red building up here on the left has always had a window with a little display in it that I've always liked. One in particular had, you know, this red wall had with the window had a red dress on a mannequin. I'll have to find that picture. It's somewhere in my storage. And I've got people behind me, so it'll be hard to stop and get this picture. turn in here we will get the front of um, the vortex we're gonna park and then we're gonna get some pictures of these wood telephone poles I already had my coffee so we won't need that There you go, folks. Steel on the doors and the windows. Locked. Jumpman's daughter. Always loved that place, too. Vortex. Never been in there.
here we go, folks. All the stories, all the for sales, the room for rent, roommate wanted, garage sales, lost a pet, found animal, found pet. The thousands and thousands of storylines that these telephone poles can tell. If they would only give up their secrets, huh? I have always loved reflections. It's like a double exposure, but you're getting two pictures at once. You're getting a picture of the, you know, I guess you could sort of say the past and the present. But it's, I know it's not the past, but still, looking forward and looking back. Okay, here's a telephone pole. Those are all the storylines, folks. All of the DNA. <laughs> Bubble gum, chewing gum. People have left their DNA on those telephone poles. This stuff is artwork in itself. Looking north on Moreland. Turning, looking west. Turning, looking south. And down Euclid. I am but a telephone pole covered in chewing gum, bubble gum, staples of old stories. And I'm down here in, in Little Five Points, Atlanta.